um, I'm going to help you. Uh, okay, so I'm going to try and help you with further instructions on uh, your instincts. When you are instinctual, When you are instinctual, you are following a very ingrained pattern. It's very hard when I'm having a rest because there's things that are funny make me laugh. So when I'm closing my eyes and I have a quiet mind, the little monkeys in the monkey mind, uh, well, they make the body laugh. It doesn't take very much for in my previous video I was using this tarot card and in this tarot card um, the mind is represented by these little red imps here. Sorry for the reflection. The little red imps are the mind and the body is the unicorn horse. And if these are very quiet-minded little red imps, they don't have to do too much to make the body laugh. Hardly anything at all. It's a very subtle, it's almost like they're doing telepathy with the body. So you have a totally quiet mind. And then one of these little, these little red imps here comes up with something and maybe by telepathy, not even in words, not even in words, they give an idea. It's a well-chosen idea, and it might start off with just the idea, not in words, and then it might have some words attached towards the end. And these, these some of these little, they're not huge, long, like great big, book this thick idea it's just like a little hint and allegation of an idea sometimes it's a little memory or something and that's when the body starts to laugh
And if you're going to make your body laugh, uh, and your body is not being forced to laugh, <laughs> you know, or you know, because you're with somebody and they tell a joke and it really stinks and it doesn't make you laugh, but you're like, oh, I've got to act like I'm happy, like this is a funny joke. I'm acting like I'm. It's a funny joke. It's not a forced laugh. It's a real funny laugh that your body will enjoy. Uh, I've got a lot of alter egos that I act as on this channel and the alter egos have all got their own personalities and their own, their own way of doing things and I never know which one is going to do one of these things which one is going to say something or give a sort of telepathic thought and when, when we get it right, when we're very quiet that's when it's the most fun because you go from quiet it's not like monkey mind we're continuously thought and thinking and this and that and going this way and that it's really quiet and you're very quiet and it, you know and sometimes in my videos I'll go for you know 30 seconds without saying anything it's because the mind is silent and sometimes some of the personalities are saying you know you want to check the time or are you thirsty or whatever and when the body is ready to speak, it will speak. And the voice or the personality that comes through, we don't know. Me and the alter egos, me and the other cosmic characters, we don't know which one is going to come. We call it coming to the front, which is here, and it's going to speak. We don't know. We don't know. It's all who decides. I don't know who decides. But it's none of us that decide. You know, I don't know how it works, but that's how it works. Does it work that way for you? Um, I can't help you. I don't know how it works. All I know is, how does this come about? People wonder how you do like ad lib acting. It's all ad lib. It's all ad lib. Sometimes I write a few little things down that I want to talk about in the time, and then I come in to do my talk. And sometimes I remember to look at what I wrote down, and sometimes I completely forget about what I was what I wrote down, and I talk about something completely different. If you get to the point where you get to be quiet-minded in nature, You are never going to be easy to be around with other people. Because you are going to be not happy being around other people very much. Because if you've got quiet mind, silent mind, the vast majority of other humans have got monkey mind. And monkey mind takes control of their mouth and runs it. And blah 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 and never they can't stand to have even a moment's quiet between you. It's like if there's any bit of quiet at all, 
the next monkey mind wants to jump in and start talking. You know what it's like? It's like you've got six people sitting at a table over lunch. And quite often it's like one or two people that talk the whole lunch. Because they don't have control of their monkey mind. And they feel so great, you know, you know, I, I talked and I talked and I talked. And then sometimes they, later on they say, how come you didn't talk at lunch? And I look at them and I said, because you stupid jerk, you have, you're so bloody rude. You dominate the conversation. Every time I'm out with you, all you do is yap, 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 yap. Or I'm out with you in the car and you do what you want with the radio. You put it to your station, you put it to your volume, and then you uh, roll down my window by your remote control, and I'm cold, or you turn your air conditioning up full blast with all the, you know, the, 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 the blower going full blast, and I'm cold. You have no You're so self-absorbed, you don't realize there's another person there. You're so self-absorbed, your ego is so fat. It's so fat, it's all about you. If you can get your head around the idea that there are other beings around you, and that they have their own preferences, If you were a really good host, you know, a fine lady or a fine gentleman, you look to your guest's comfort first. If you're an absolute boor, you look after your own interests first. It's very, very easy to be a gentle person. It's very, 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 I'll go for 35 seconds saying very rare to find a gentle person in this planet, on this planet. I'm going to have to have a really good sleep. Maybe after 10,000 more lifetimes of the other humans on the planet, they're going to finally get it. My name is Krishna and I'm an enlightened being.